Well, hello and welcome to Forge the Elite Generals. I am your host, Fat Squatch. That's right, I'll be your host for the Featured Commanders. Now, FEG, the Forge the Elite Generals, is an amazing resistance clan. They've got some awesome commanders, and we're going to feature them in this amazing series. All right, to start it all off, we've got Tortuga and Brute. That's right, Brute Force, and these guys are going to battle it out with some confed scum. Ha ha ha! Now, if you all know Tortuga, he's quite the battle master. And Brute, well, he likes to ground and pound. So let's find out what happens in this awesome Art of War 3, 2 verse 2. Here we go, yeah! Oh boy! Here we go! Yes, on the Hermit's Land. Man, this is a newer one. It's got a really cool peninsula actually in the middle there, kind of from corner. It starts down the bottom left-hand corner, kind of goes into the water. Now I sped it up for us. That's okay. We're at speed 10 here because we're going to get past that first part. They're getting the, look at that. They're getting the crates. Yeah. Woo, look at them go. Now we got all the ones in the water. Okay. Very good. I believe Tortuga is the yellow and brute force is the red. All right. Oh, okay. They got, man, the enemy already has boats in the water as well. And it looks like, uh, oh yeah, the scouts are going at it as well too. Okay, they brought it back down to speed two. Thank you. Nice. All right, look at him go. Jeez. So green, green has actually expanded his base down uh, towards the water there. He's got, he's right along the coast. You can see his green base right there. He's along the coast and the blue's just down below him on the other side of that peninsula there. Okay, holy cow. So Tortuga's already got his alligators in the water. He's coming at him hard. He's going to roll right up on, uh, right around that peninsula there. I don't know if he's going to hit green or blue first. Blue is actually, was, ma was managed to get one of his boats up out of the water. Remember, Confed can come right up out of the water there and onto land through the beaches there. Okay, awesome. You can see he's got one, two, three, four, five supplies upgrading that HQ. Very good. Now, uh, here comes that alligator. Scout it out. It's always nice when you can scout with an alligator. The smaller boats don't stand a chance. Okay. All right, there he goes. Okay. So they, uh, Brute's got uh, a rifleman kind of scouting out the top over there, making sure nobody's trying to sneak up on his side of the map there. Looks like Tortuga's going to move to air. Getting that air uh, field, or the uh, AV factory up and going. He's also got alligators. So he's going water and uh, air. It looks like Possibly, Brute is going to stick with uh, the land units, possibly. Let's see what happens here. Yep, there's a special vehicle factory going up right now. Okay, there goes those alligators. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got tor torpedo platforms up. And those things are sinking those alligators. He's trying to take out one of them, move to the right side. Oh, man, those were, those were rough. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were using a defense boost on that one. They sunk those alligators fast. All right. Okay. Looks like uh, Brute's moving that rifleman down the right side. Staying close to that right side. We got the alligator here, Mr. Tortugas, hitting Green's resource center. Let's see how many buildings he can get to before Green actually stops him. Oh, there goes uh, Coyote. Yes. So... At the same time, we've got uh, Tortuga taking out some buildings there, and Brute is actually going through with, went through with his coyote to scout out the rest of the base, to give him, give Tortuga some visibility with his uh, alligator there. Now Tortuga can hit quite a bit with that alligator. There he goes. That Zeus is going to try to take care of him. Oh, we got a vertex in the air. So Green's got Zeus and vertex. I'm not sure what Blue's got. It looked like Blue is going to try to go to the water with his boats. But we've got some activity down in the bottom left-hand corner. That's right, a hammer rush. Here comes, holy cow, hammer rush is coming. Here we go. Okay. Oh, man. Ah, look at this. So Blue decided to go hammers. All right. So we've got, oh, man. Here we go. 
Ah, good thing. See, now smart move on those dragonfly. I always say those dragonfly are the hammer killers. You're gonna chase down those hammers, try to stop them before they take out that airfield. Yep, three dragonfly can handle it. Very good, nice job dragonfly. Looks like Brute came down as well to help out. Thank you, Brute, nice job. Some good teamwork there. Those Vertex though, they're, oh. So he hit the repair button, but not in time. Those Vertex are taking out that airfield. Dang it! Wow. Okay. Trying to get some anti-air up. Doesn't have any at the moment. He's putting a special vehicle factory in place of that uh, AV factory. He's got alligators on the water, and so far, Green hasn't been able to really take care of those alligators. He's got to stay away from those, those uh, platforms, those torpedo platforms, though. Okay. Man. Okay, so, so far, looks like Green is actually able to hold them off. And he's taking care of those alligators really nicely. You can see Tortuga says not good. Yep, they, they're feeling the pressure at the moment. I don't know if they're going to pull out of this one. Um, dang it. That's a rough one. Uh, but we'll see what happens. They can still pull, pull out of this one. Even though it feels like green and blue kind of have the upper hand at the moment. All right, he's going. Looks like Tortuga's going with Dragonfly. He's going to use one of those Dragonfly. Try to scout out the rest of blue here. Let's see if blue has any anti-air. No, one bunker. Just some hammers. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, shoot. Green was on that Dragonfly fast. So green's Vertex are very, very strong. Okay. Let's see. Well, Brute's got some uh, Porcupine. So that's good. Got some, uh, oh, he's got a mammoth coming out, a jaguar. Boy, those vertex are just taking him out, though. Man, I don't know what they're going to do. Just, oh, man, what a battle. Jeez. Okay. Well, let's see here. We got, uh, we're just at about 15 minutes now in the battle. And he's upgrading. Okay, good. Tortuga's got his factory being upgraded. He's got some alligators there sitting off the coast of the peninsula there and uh, quickly Brute is getting a ground force together with a mix of mammoth porcupine some jags and some armadillo with a few grenadiers mixed in okay here goes torpedo platform versus four alligators and some vertex are coming yeah, helping them out all right they got that out of the way all right looks like he's using a Common attack boost, I think. Oh, air raid. Okay, that's a smart move. Try to take out some of the vertex while he's hitting those buildings. He's got one al alligator left. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Ooh, man, those vertex are, they're hot. All right, here comes another. And a lot, many alligators die in this battle. The alligators are hungry and they're starving for some buildings. Okay, well. Tortuga has been a great distraction and allow Brute to get his land force together here. Let's see if Brute can uh, make a dent in a moment here. All right. You can see he's got a good mix of units. And uh, he's able to sit back and let his mammoth hit it from a distance. See if he, let's see if he can get Green to fly his vertex over. Those porcupines are wanting it. I want to take out some... And vertex. Oh, the blue now. Blue's trying to hit Tortuga with his vertex. So blue's got hammers and vertex. Green's got Zeus and vertex. So here come the Zeus. Brute's a smart one. He likes to lure his enemy in, and then he'll put his uh, grenadiers right in the front, which is a smart move. Keeps those Zeuses from focusing fire on the larger vehicles. Got those jaguars in the back. And that mammoth is also in the back there. Look at that. I told you, you've heard me say it. Brute likes to beat you up. So if you're going to go head to head, pound, ground and pound with Brute, you better be ready. All right, Brute's going to move those forces down. Let's see if he can get to that defense before it gets built. Oh, man. Look at that. All right, Green is trying to use Vertex. Yep. It looks like he's going to have luck. Yep, looks like he was able to take him out. 
We got action down here in the bottom of the map. Looks like he was sending over one more Dragonfly to try to scout out just to check on Blue's base there. Tortuga is going to attempt it again with alligators, but he's got to maneuver these alligators and micro them in such a way that they don't get hit by those torpedo platforms. Okay. Wow, okay, he's going to park them there. Because of that peninsula, it makes it so, the coast to coast and the width of the water there, it's everything so close and uh, it really does give a, an advantage to the torpedo platform. Let's see here. So we've got green helping out. So blue has actually upgraded that shipyard. Yeah, we got quite a battle. Look at that. Nice. I love a good sea battle, a good water battle there. So it looks like actually Tortuga is winning. He's able to move on to the coast there, take out that shipyard. He's got to back up though. Those hammers are coming. Got a bunch of hammers and some vertex. He's down to, nope, that's it. All right, well, Blue holds off Tortuga. So far, I have to say, activity-wise, um, they've hit from land, sea, and, and uh, Tortuga and uh, Brute have really been the most active uh, gamers and players on this in this battle here. So Green and Blue have kind of been flying Vertex, but that's about it. Let's see. Uh, oh, nope, man. Blue and green own the air, that's for sure. Let's see, he's got some more porcupines, so Brute's gonna try to hit that again. Interesting, all right, looks like he's making, yeah, he's making headway, look at that. Now he's gotta be careful of that rocket tower there. Those things have some good range on them if they're upgraded. Let's see, we've got uh, some more Zeus coming and the Vertex are coming, but those Vertex are getting He's taken out quite a bit of those Vertex with the Porcupine, so that's not bad. But those Vertex, man, they're tearing up that, those ground units. That's giving Green a little more time. So close. That was so close to being able to uh, push a little further on the uh, top of Green's base there. So Tortuga's got quite, you know, two of those uh, AV factories going now. Well, not AV, but uh, yeah the uh, naval uh, factories there. He's got plenty of alligators coming out. There we go. So let's see what he does. Now this is a good move. If they can actually work together and move along the coastline and, and move along that coastline together with Brute's land units and Tortuga's sea units, his alligators, they may be able to penetrate the top of Green's base They've got to come together, I think, in order to, to make it happen. Let's see what happens here. Okay. He's got the air raid on. Let's see if they can waste some of those vertex before. He's going to, okay, separating them, spreading them out a little bit. Very good. Yeah, I, that's, that, you got to do that. Those vertex are so strong. I'd be gold boosting too on that air raid. Okay, he's got another alligator. So Tortuga is going to commit fully. He's all, all alligator now. Let's see here. He's going to come to the bottom. Okay. He's going to come along the bottom. Not too close. To, you got to be careful with those torpedo platforms. So he's going to try and see if he can draw green. And keep green's units over here. While Brute hits the top again possibly. Let's see what happens here. There's too many Zeus's down that way. But this looks like a weak side here in between green and blue. Oh man. Okay. So he was able to do a little bit of damage. So, okay, Brute's got the fog on. He's moving to fog of war here. I like to call it fog of death. He's coming on down. The fog is gonna make a big difference. You'll see. Okay, we got, he's still got an alligator in the water there. So this is so if they can work together here, and ideally, I would have maybe thought that that first, that last wave of tortugas could have come in and came down with that fog, and and uh, brute forces kind of came down together along that side, that coastline. But they're they're doing good. That that uh, alligator there is just being a 
a good distraction there. And Brute slowly moving down and moving in. They're going to hold their positions. All right, Brute's just keeping it going here while uh, Tortuga sends more alligators over. You can see that fog. It's hard for Green to really see anything. Now you can see because that fog's off. Boy, wow, what, jeez, what a ground battle there. Oh, no! We've got super weapons. Good God. Oh, but luckily, Mr. Tortuga's smart, and he's got his, his land units down below there to hold off those hammers. They did not get hit. But Green, I believe it's Green, has fired a space strike and hit Tortuga's base. All right. Well, Tortuga seemed to hit... He, 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 uh, he handled that pretty well. So I think he'll be able to recover. But we know that there's a super weapon at, in play here. And uh, I'm not sure if Tortuga or Brute are going to go to a super weapon. All right. So lost another alligator, but was able to take out another platform. Green is just spending resources left and right, putting up the defense on the water. And uh, here comes Brute. He's got some more mammoth this time. Okay, nice position on that, that alligator. Oh, man. Those Zeuses are doing a nice job defending the coastline here. All right, more torpedo platforms. Good grief, was that a contract? If it was, he, he probably he probably accomplished the contract and completed it, man. Oh, blue is in the air, okay. Wow. Jeez, okay. Well, so it looks like uh, Tortuga's moved his Grenadiers down to the bottom of the map there, just uh, to the left of Blue's base. He's still got alligators coming over one at a time. All right, here goes Brute. Let's see what happens. Brute versus the green base. Oh, Blue fires a space strike. Look at that. But look at that. Oh, look at that shipyard still standing. Oh, wow. On a sliver of life. Okay. All right, so it looks like uh, Mr. Brute's got his rally point set up. And he's going to try to hold that position and keep applying pressure there from the top of green space. All right, nice move. He's sending in Grenadiers first. Now, Blue, holy cow, Blue's got hammers coming down. Blue was able to move along the right side of the map, go all the way to the top, and come down on top of, of Brute's mammoth. Look at that move. Good grief. What a battle. Jeez, okay. So right now, though, that alligator the Tortuga's got is getting a chance to hit green a little bit there. They're just going to keep on trying to hit the top of green's base there, little by little, chipping away at it. Because they, they're they confident that if they can break through there, then it's going to be wide open. So they're going to keep sending. He's got, all right, Grenadiers and Armadillo coming down right now. We are going about to hit 40 minutes in this battle here. Oh, space strike to brute space. That's three space strikes so far. Confed is having a good time. All right. How are they gonna keep the pressure up? Okay, Tortuga says keep the pressure up to brute. And that's exactly what brute's gonna do. He's good at keeping the pressure up. Now you can see Mr. Tortuga has expanded his base all the way up to the top left hand corner across the bridge and put a headquarters up there. Smart move. They're going to spread out their bases so that Space Strike won't be able to do as much damage and uh, hit as many buildings that way. Look at that Grenadier in the bushes there, able to help take out the Zeus. Nice. Blue is still in the air there with his vertex. And let's see what happens down below here. Got a little bit of activity. Man, let me tell you, 
this is what I'm talking about. I, that's why I love, I love uh, featuring the gamers out there. And these guys are great. These guys are great. Like I said before, if you are, if you're a gamer, and uh, you're playing a game out there, it doesn't matter. If it, can't, it doesn't have to be Art of War three. If you got a game and you want to record it, I'll give you the link to upload it to the Fat Squatch Cloud, and I will go ahead and edit it and put it together and add it to this amazing featured gamer series. All right, look at that! Holy cow! Very nice. Okay, so he's got he's got down to just we're doing infantry here, going up against those fortresses. Now green, oh the nuke, Mr. Brute had a nuke. Hit that sucker with the nuke, yeah. How you like that one? Boom, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now the space strike does do a lot of damage, but those nukes are nasty. They're nasty. What a, you guys have seen it all in this battle. We've had land, we've had air, we've had sea, and we've got super weapons. What a great first episode for this series. Man, fantastic. Look at that, here comes some more alligators. Nice job, you guys. Nice job, Brute. Wow. Now, was that Brute or Tortuga? Maybe that was, uh, my, uh, I'm sorry, I might be wrong. It might be Tortuga that had the super weapon. Oh, there goes a space strike again okay so he actually he's built that nuke up in the i think the nukes up in the top left hand corner actually look at that blue is going all fortresses interesting blue has been really interesting in this battle he went hammers mostly he's got some vertex now he's going all fortress but guess what those grenadiers Ooh, let's see what happens look at that look at they did quite a bit of damage but they couldn't get far enough. You needed some uh, hammers mixed in there, I think. Or some assault. I think assault with the fortresses maybe would have helped them out a little bit right there. All right, those galligators are now able to get a little closer, but those torpedo platforms are still giving them some damage. There's the nuke, okay. So he wasn't putting a headquarters up in the top left-hand corner. That's where he put the nuke, which is brilliant. Because I don't believe I mean, that's the last place that the enemy can really get to, or even... Oh, shoot! Dang it! Okay, so somehow, they managed to scout it. They must have sent a vertex or something over there. But they took that nuke out with a space strike. Holy cow! So, it looks like... Looks like we're going to a couple AV factories here. Mr. Tortuga was on, wants to go to the air again. Dang! Okay, here comes Brute. Brute's going to go ahead and go for it. He's got lots of Grenadier, and mostly Grenadier, Porcupine, throwing a fog over it. Smart moves. That's a great combo, actually. And Brute is probably the, one of the best at it. Look at that. Green's base is now a sitting duck. Didn't have enough, didn't have really any uh, units that could help him out. I wonder if his units were somewhere else. Well, Brute was able to make it quick take those to take them out quickly wow what's going on oh another space strike didn't seem to do enough damage they need to upgrade their space strikes i think okay look at that blue is blocking the bridge he is blocking it let's see if brute can uh make his way through the wall there and over the bridge Tortuga is coming down on the left side while Brute attacks from the right side. And Blue, for the most part, is was sitting pretty, uh, pretty, pretty uh, comfortably down there at the bottom. Green took most of the beating from Brute and Tortuga. Blue is now. It looks like Blue's out of the game now. Tortuga is able to get over that bridge and. Uh, Whatever Blue had as far as units was defending the left side of the base. He's got a Vertex up there, but that's not going to do a whole lot. Looks like Tortuga's got Hawks coming now. To wrap it up. Wow. There's a moment in this battle where I thought Tortuga and Brute may not be able to make it. Those Vertex that Blue and Green had, especially Green, 
those things were, were like super powerful. And when I saw those space strikes hitting, I mean, three space strikes right before, wow. Man, so we got, what is that, five space strikes, a nuke fired, we've had land, we've had air, we've had a sea. I mean, what a great battle, you guys. Wow. All right. Well, guys, that was the Featured Commander's first episode for the Forge Elite Generals featuring Tortuga and Brute. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tune in for the next episode coming out soon. Oh, yeah. And if you're looking for an amazing Resistance Clan, make sure you join Forge Elite Generals. Yeah. To send them a message inside the game, and they'll hook up with you. All right. We'll see you in the next battle. This is Fat Squatch signing off.